In the following part, I want to focus on the consequences from the increasing exposure to chemical substances, like for example pesticides, to environmental health and to public health. Focused on one specific problem, I represent the approach of One Health based on the current situation of chronic kidney disease in El Salvador. The Plex Smith Institute documents in its yearly report over 600 of the world's worst polluted places. In the recent 2011 report, the top 10 toxic pollution problems are heavy metals such as mercury, lead and chromium, arsenic and pesticides. Also, distribution patterns, for example, of pesticides, showed highest concentrations in the USA and Europe. The worst polluted places can be found mainly in southern regions such as Latin America, Africa and Southeast Asia, putting every year several millions of people at risk. I will give you just one recent example of the consequences of one popular and widely used chemical substance on the environmental health. In the last 20 years, a strong decline by 97% of the vulture population in India was observed. They found out that the vultures died from kidney failure. After various investigations, they were able to relate the decrease in kidney functioning to the feeding behavior of the vultures on carcasses of domestic ungulates treated with diclofenac. You probably all know diclofenac, a very common and widespread non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drug taken to reduce inflammation and as an analgesic reducing pain. The traumatic decline of the vulture population not only caused ecological but also social and cultural consequences. These days three species are in critical danger of extinction. The absence of the vultures resulted in a sharp increase in putrefying carcasses leading to a change in population structure of scavengers, mainly feral dogs, which increased to over 30 million dogs in 2005. The growing presence of putrefying carcasses, as well as feral dogs, led to an increase of diseases like rabies and anthrax, and a growing risk of pandem pandemics that can cause millions of deaths in a crowded country like India. Furthermore, it strongly affects traditional customs where the bodies of the dead are placed atop a tower, the so-called Tower of Silence, and exposed to the sun and to birds of prey for their disposal, as well as vulture tourism. Bruce Ustun et al. conducted a systematic review of the literature for global burden of disease estimates attributable to chemicals. They grouped the chemicals based on the disease outcomes considered and assigned them in four classes chemicals in acute poisonings, chemicals in occupational exposures, air pollutant mixtures and single chemicals with mostly longer term effects. In 2004, 4.9 million deaths and 86 million disability adjusted life years, the so-called DALIs, were attributable to environmental exposure and management of chemical substances. The largest polluters are air pollutant mixtures, including outdoor air pollutants, indoor air pollutants from solid fuel combustion, and secondhand smoke, all shown in different yellow colors. But also chemicals in acute poisoning, as well as in occupational exposures, have a strong contribution. One recent example of occupational exposure effects on public health can be observed in El Salvador, Nicaragua. In the last years, they got diagnosed a growing incidence of growing kidney disease in sugarcane workers. Also, in the meantime, several investigations have been conducted. The causes and etiology still remain unclear. Some related chronic kidney disease to the exposure to organic chemicals. Others found associations with male sex, occupational and toxic environment and traditional vascular risk. Correlation with potable water pollution with heavy metals, arsenic and fluorides were found. Others associated chronic kidney disease with environmental toxins and exposures. And one of the recent publications 
related it to strenuous work in hot environments with repeated volume depletion. To solve this problem, the multiple disciplines have to be involved and work together, as for example ecotoxicologists, agronomists, limnologists, educationalists, medical scientists and social scientists. Solving this problem includes both environmental health as well as public health, which therefore better can be combined in one health. One Health is defined as the collaborative effort of multiple disciplines working locally, nationally and globally to attain optimal health for people, animals and environment. It originally evolved from the interrelationship among veterinary and human toxicology, one depending and influencing the other and both being part of ecotoxicology as well as ecosystem health, which finally becomes One Health. Based on the One Health approach, our group at the University of Koblenz-Landau, which includes ecotoxicologists, mathematics and technologists, aims to include, to link and to cooperate with the different institutions and disciplines involved in this situation. As for example, the Ministries of Health, of Foreign Affairs and of Environment from El Salvador, universities from different countries like El Salvador and Nicaragua, and international organizations like the Pan American Health Organization and the United Nations Committee on the Peaceful Uses of Outer Space. Including further disciplines and parties involved will allow to approach the problem from all different aspects and finally help improve our One Health. Thank you for your attention. We are looking forward to your comments and your input.